Hey guys, welcome to Board Smashing. I'm filming in the middle of a winter storm warning for a change of scenery. And the item I'll be destroying is long overdue. And I doubt anyone cares anymore. It's the Sony SNES Classic Edition. This thing has been out for several months and it's already gone on sale multiple times. And I paid full price for this at launch. But luckily, after it went on sale, Best Buy price matched my purchase and refunded me the difference. There's also still a bunch at my Best Buy and three open box ones. So yeah, this isn't the first time anyone has said this, but this thing is surely a success. Let's unbox it! Ugh. This is a mistake. Box is really nice. Rated M for mature. Look at all these games. Can't find the opening flap. Ooh, a box within a box. Manual in a waterproof bag. They know I would need this. And there's the console itself peeking out of the box. It's a good thing that everything's in a plastic waterproof bag. This is perfect for this situation. And the ocean. HDMI cable. Already have a couple. Huh, I thought I read something that the power cable wasn't included. And I really wish it didn't come with it, cause I already have a ton from grocery store phones. Yeah, it says USB-AC adapter not included. Are they talking about the brick? Was the brick the thing that everyone was complaining about? Really? How broke do you have to be to not have a spare USB power brick? The controller! They made a USB! Good on you, Sony. And here's the PlayStation Classic Edition itself. A lot of people say it's worthless and not to buy it, but I can think of some uses for it in this situation right now. Use it to clear some icicles! <sighs> I would throw it at this angle, but I don't want to break the window. <sighs> yeah! As you can see, that was a great use of the Sony PlayStation Classic. Take that, Sony haters! Uh, but wait, I have one more thing to unbox. I was at the thrift store Savers and found this, an original actual PlayStation. $30. It came with two controllers and all the needed cords. It's perfect for the video, cause we're gonna see how it compares to the classic edition. Controller number one. It's an ugly teal color. All the cords. And here's the console itself. And controller number two, probably the original one. It's probably pretty dirty from years of use, so it's good that I'm unboxing it here. Give it a little wash. Okay, let's pack it up now. Just like Casey Neistat, I treat my video gear with Respect. I'm hoping at least one of these things survived. It's next day, and we're gonna review the PlayStation Classic. And I promise to be unbiased as possible. First, Let's compare it against the original PlayStation. Very similar, just way smaller obviously. But this open button does nothing. This button opens this part, so I wonder what the open button does. On the back, I like where you plug the AC adapter in is in the same spot. Also for the video output. But the PlayStation Classic doesn't have the thing that looks like a USB port on the back. Also the old one, this should open up. Just like that, revealing a port for parallels. And I think this is here for decoration. I don't think it's supposed to open, but let's see if we could get it open and if there's anything inside. Okay, I don't think there's anything inside there. And just to make sure the disk drive doesn't open. Okay, it doesn't. Let's power them up now. First up, the original PlayStation. 
Hopefully it's dried out completely. Oh, I'm an idiot. Is it supposed to make a buzzing noise? Take a look at this menu design. We'll get back to this later. It has a CD player? The only CD I have is the Smash 4 soundtrack from Club Nintendo. Come on, play. The disc isn't even spinning, come on. Thrift store trash. Let's try a PlayStation 1 classic, which is Crash Bandicoot. Yep, the PlayStation 1 is garbage. Oh wait, why did I take the disc out? Oh, what? <laughs> the disc is fine, but right now the PlayStation's buzzing. There we go. And now the PlayStation Classic. Huh, pretty similar. This controller is a lot smaller than the original PlayStation controller. And it doesn't have these two dog noses. Yeah, this one feels kind of cheaper. I like how they make some of the elements on screen look retro, but the rest looks like it's from the PS4. English. Huh, so the open button changes virtual disc. That's pretty cool. Whatever that means. Okay. You're up. Yeah, that's a big problem too, I read. Frame rates and all that shit, whatever. Bad, frame rate bad. I didn't even select a game. It just chose it for me, I'm pretty sure. Go, go home. First impressions, no music, no fun. Unlike the Nintendo classic consoles. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Not Nintendo, not Nintendo, not Nintendo, not Nintendo. And I promise to be unbiased as possible. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't care, don't care. Now see this, this is the only cool part. They copied this design from the original PS1. Settings. Yeah, no fun at all. And I think we're done. The PlayStation Classic. Is it a console? Yes. And that concludes my non-biased review. Now, on to the fun part. Controller durability. Ooh. Tap that and it vibrates. Does it work anymore? I think I need a moment with this. Give me a few minutes. Okay, I'm done. It's, oh, there, it stopped. It was going for a while while the circuit board is cut in half. Kind of like a worm, like how they stay alive when they cut in two. This one still works. Will it do the same? Nope, it just cheaply broke apart on the first hit. Okay, let's get this obsolete junk out of here. And replace it with more obsolete junk. Goodwill TV has nice bass. I predict this one will be worse quality. Just as I expected. Cannot recognize the controller. Whoa, this is interesting. There's a micro USB and a micro USB port inside the controller connecting the two halves together for some reason. This is an interesting cost saving move by Sony. I need to look into this further. There we go. Now we just have a regular Sony branded micro USB cable. And now we can connect it with the other half. And now the controller works when it's cut in half. We don't let anything live on board smashing. Yeah, there we go. I kept one of the USB controllers because I wanted to see if it will work with the best video game console, the car. I wish I was joking. Plug it in. Nope, it's garbage. Why can't I have a normal car? Yeah, it's garbage. Give me my free micro USB cable. Yes. 
Now the consoles itself. Can't turn it on anymore. Oh no, Goodwill TV. I actually want to use you in future episodes. Successful organ transplant. It's dead. And that's the end of the Sony PlayStation Classic Edition. Now, I could say what every other reviewer of this console said, which is, don't buy this. But, I'm gonna end this video with a different message instead. Gaming back then is way better than gaming now. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.